they're off. And the eight of them come away in a fairly decent line. Gitan Jali, the biggest price runner, broke well. So did the red jacket of Nkosi Kazi on the running rail. Shamad, pale jacket fair. Also pale jacket for the nose banded B. Moore is up there. Gazayi behind those. Then comes Waliakshi, settles towards the back of the field. The best turned out with a Dean Street doll. It's just about last of all. And Gitan Jali got out well, but has been dropped to the back of the field. She's last but one at this stage as they settle. The pair of leaders racing a little wide apart. Shamad, Harry Bentley, light blue and white jacket, about a length ahead of the red colours, Tom Marcand on the cosy cars as they race down towards the bottom part of the course. Raw blue jacket, then Frankie on Lake Lucerne. She holds third position narrowly over James Doyle on Gazia. Yellow spots on a dark jacket. Behind those is Beemore, nose banded against the running rail. Right next to her, dark blue colours, Waliak and David Egan on the outside of those as they make the bottom turn is Callum Shepard on Gitan Jali and then Ryan Moore turquoise colours on Dean Street Doll is the back marker. They're past halfway now and heading down on towards the home straight. Shamad continues to have the lead. She's about a length ahead still to Nkosi Kazi in second. The others are closer. Lake Lucerne just holds third place. Gazia moves alongside with her and then Gita Anjali three from the running rail. She's immediately tracked uh, by Waliak. Yellow stripes on the sleeves and cap the extreme right. Uh, then comes B. Moore tucked away from the running rail and Dean Street Doll is at the rear of the field. They're heading down to the final quarter mile now. Waliak on the extreme right is launched with her challenge. On the left, Shamad is still holding the lead. Lake Lucerne is a little short of room there in the blue. Extreme right now. Dean Street Doll got a roll on from the back of the field, but nothing as yet has got to Shamad. She continues to have the advantage and has hit the foul on pole by two lengths to Waliak and Dean Street Doll and Beemore behind those. And still, Shamad continues to be in front, and that is where she stays. Shamad has won it. Second, Waliak. Third position, Dean Street Doll. Beemore might just have held fourth position from Gazia. They're off. They race away then. This is the Unibet Euron Goodwood handicap. The wrong way down the home straight to begin with. Rochester House leads them. Kurt Leon is the back marker. Rochester House in front them with uh, Summer Moon, his stable mate, chasing him. Harbour front and also the outer of uh, the field, Cliffs of Dunin. Big nose band on Cliffs of Dunin. Harry Bentley on his back in the black and orange colours. He's alongside Sensational, who was run up in the race 12 months ago in the pink sleeve jacket. Right in behind those, it's a freebie, very dark set of silks off towards the running rail and right in behind him, True Destiny the third from 12 months ago is in company with the Grand Vizier who's in blue and orange. Wide of that is the grey Oleg who's up there and he would be seventh maybe eighth just at this stage. Another yellow jacket, just Hubert further back in the field. Then the best turned out winner, Blue Laureate as they turn left-handed now and make their way to the far side. Stonific, uh, then Smart Champion and Coeur de Leon are the back markers. So they've inside the last two miles now. Rochester House and Sylvester de Souza out in front lead by around about a length. Joe Fanning a yellow jacket on Summer Moon around the outside of Kieran O'Neill on Harbour Front in the purple and orange colours. They're together in second and third places. Behind those black and orange jacket, Harry Bentley on Cliffs of Dunoon. Uh, pink sleeve colours them, sensational. Uh, Matt of Luke Morris as they run on down towards the last mile and three quarters. And then comes Author's Dream, David Egan, white and green jacket. Very dark colours for Angus Villiers on It's a Freebie. And alongside him, Holly Doyle in the light blue jacket on Oleg, the grey. Uh, behind those, the Grand Vizier, Richard Kingscote, is in blue and orange. A yellow jacket for Tom Marcond on Just Hubert is next to him as they approach the last mile and a half. And then comes True Destiny, Jason Watson, mainly yellow jacket with white sleeves this thing right-handed now a little uphill run blue laureate a very pale light blue jacket for james doyle is next as they race away from us right over on the far side of the course. Stonific, uh, Martin Dwyer's in green, white and maroon colours. Purple and white quarters, one from the back is Smart Champion and Callum Shepard. Dark blue and pink, Thorhammer Hansen on Coeur de Leon is the back marker of now 15 runners after the withdrawal of Mook and Magic as they race them on the far side of the track. There'd be a good uh, 15, maybe even 20 lengths first to last. Out in front it continues to be though Rochester House. He's 
is around about a length and a half ahead of Summer Moon and Harbour Front who've been together in second and third places. Author's Dream, white and green stripes on the sleeves coming through to join in fourth position, Cliffs of Dunim. Sensational, who went a bit freely in the early part of the races. Next, he's swapped back in sixth position in company uh, with It's a Freebie. Oleg continues to travel nicely right in behind this leading group of runners, the grey horse halfway down the field at the moment. Just Hubert and the Grand Vizier, True Destiny behind him and then Stonific and Blue Laureate at the back of the field. Kerr de Leon has just relegated Smart Champion to be the back marker as they run uphill then far end of the course. Uh, they're just closing up a little bit, probably only 12 lengths first to last here. The leader continues to be, though, Rochester House. They've all sat behind him and had a look at him, and he continues to be a length and a half ahead as he runs downhill on towards home in the Unibet Goodwood Handicap. Running in second still, Summer Moon with Harbour Front. There's been no change in that pair, second and third. Author's Dream behind those, and then comes Cliss of Dunin. It's a freebie sensational. Oleg is being ridden along. A little bit short of pace there. True Destiny and also Smart Champion on the extreme right with the Grand Vizier are trying to come from the back of the field. Two furlongs to go. Rochester House in the red, purple, black and yellow still holding up. He's still finding more in front. Summer Moon is stable made in yellow is in second. Uh, behind those is Author's Dream has moved into third place. The Grand Vizier coming from the back. So is Smart Champion and also True Destiny. But Rochester House still with the lead after two miles and three furlong. A furlong to go. Just Hubert there. Produced from Ty Tom Marquand from the back of the field to come through. Also on the outside, running on his smart champion, Just Hubert has joined and just coloured Rochester House very late on. The Grand Vizier smart champion and author's dream are in a three-way go for third, fourth and fifth. They're off. They race away with a mile and a half in front of them here with Carlos Felix and Mambo Knights. Uh, one of the, or the two that were slowest to get into stride for the Unibet three boosts a day handicap and in cipher on the outer of King's Caper the first two to show, Glint is in the orange colours, is bang up with those as well and then the best turned out winner damage control, mainly white jacket uh, darker sleeves, in behind those a star above, dark blue against the running rail runs in fifth position a very free going, winner clock is next, stripe jacket races in company with Mambo Knights in yellow colours, a bit keen himself. Uh, then the grey Sav and his three from the rear of the field, followed by Carlos Felix and the red sleeves of Sound of Cannons is fractionally the back marker as William Buick in orange colours on Glint is leads them as they race away right over on the far side. Frankie on in cipher, just about in second. Very similar jacket is Joe Fanning, got green epaulets though on King's Caper, running in third. Then Rob Hornby on damage control, followed through by Holly Doyle, dark blue jacket, yellow spots on a star above. In stripes is Tom Greatrix on winner clock. Far side of him is Andret Zeni, yellow of Mambo Knights as they make their way down towards halfway. Grey horse is Sarvan, Matter Ben Curtis, red sleeves for Jim Crowley, sound of cannons, has the mainly black jacket, Carlos Felix and Luke Morris behind him. Up front, though, in Cypher, coming through to be not far behind. Glentis, as they're about to swing right-handed and have a downhill run on towards home. King's Caper, about a three parts of length further back in third. And then comes Damage Control, within fifth position, off to the running rails, a star above. Mambo Knight's uh, yellow jacket still goes freely on the outside of Win O'Clock. Sarvan behind those. Last two still, Red Sleeve Sound of Cannons and the white-faced chestnut of Carlos Felix. They run them into the home straight and Glentz is in orange, ridden along as in cipher travels very strongly up on the outside of him. Damage control and King's Caper the next pair and then Mambo Knights in the yellows getting going. Sarvan's in behind this, Win O'Clock is struggling. A star above looking for a way through. In cipher has got the lead to Mambo Knights. Sarvan coming between them, still their damage control and Carlos Felix on the extreme right with a challenge. Mambo Knights though, yellow jack it Andreas and he has the advantage now a star above is out in the clear of making significant progress and star sound of cannons also running on strongly Mambo Knights in the yellow the dark blue jacket a star above Mambo Knights has held on just to a star above uh, then in behind those sound of cannons in Cypher King's caper either side of damage control for minor money
they're off. Uh, get away, five furlongs to chip. Wings of a Dove is the slowest one into stride as they begin. The yellow of International Dream from Army of India towards the right is very pacey. The noseband of Ben McDewey is up there. Sardinia Sunset in purple and white is next. And then Night on Earth in the light blue jacket towards the left in green sleeves is Deliver the Dream from the red of Significantly. Dark blue of Chief Little Hawk right in behind him as well. Then Steel Bull, a dark blue jacket, red cap. Got a lot of horses in front of him. Goes OK, but a lot of horses in front of him at the moment. Wings of a Dove behind this. Ben McDewey has come to take on Army of India in front. Sardinia Sunset behind those. The light blue of Night on Earth. Looking for ground is Steel Bull. Now gets room significantly and also Chief Little Hawk furthest from the stands with a chance. Ben McDewey has the lead. Now Steel Bull sets sail to get after him as they race up the hill towards the line. Sardinia Sunset in behind those. Ben McDewey is collared by Steel Bull late on and he gets up to win. Second position, then Ben McDewey behind those international dream chief, Little Hawk, and significantly for the minor places. They're off. They race away. Then Kamiko gets out very smartly indeed and is the first one to lead this Qatar Sussex Stakes. Going with him, though, Circus Maximus in the white cap, a dark jacket of Vatican City and Wichita in purple is wide on the course. Mohatha in blue and white is up there as well. And then San Donato, a yellow jacket and the pink cap of uh, Siskin and Colin Keane is just at the rear of a very well bunched field after a couple of furlongs. There's only five lengths between them. Ryan Moore and Circus Maximus just goes on to lead. Dark blue jacket for William Buick on Vatican City in second. Asheem Murphy against the running rail. Kamiko in third. Purple jacket for Frankie on Wichita showing in fourth as they get to halfway. Blue and white for Jim Crowley. Mahatha. Yellow jacket Andrew Zeni around the outside of a pink cap for Colin Keane on Siskin as they move them towards the home straight. Circus Maximus bowls along by over a length and a half. Vatican City with a white face in second. Driven along to try and keep up with one of his stable mates. Kamiko is next. The purple jacket behind this is Wichita. San Donato, yellow jacket towards the outside, making progress. Siskin is held up still at the rear of the field. They've got to the two marker. San Donato runs a massive race at a big price here. Siskin is trailing him through on the outside. Circus Maximus. Kamiko is looking for room as well. Still there is Wichita as they head down to the closing stages. Circus Maximus is very brave. Siskin and and Mohatha in the blue and white coming down the outside to challenge. Mohatha in the blue and white comes late on to grab victory in the Qatar Sussex. Circus Maximus in second, then Siskin, Kamiko, Wichita behind those San Donato, last home, Vatican City. They're off. They race over five furlongs here. They get away to a fairly decent line. Off towards the right is Country Carnival in beige. Blue colours, though, Miss Jingles is bang with her. And also Pelican, the yellow and black, who moves through to lead, although Sprite with a red cap is very close to her. A lot of pace from this debutante, Lady Amalthea, bang up with them early on. Furlong factor in white is off towards the left. And now Country Carnival's the back marker as they race on down towards the halfway stage. Pelican in yellow and black colours with Sprite. One green sleeve leave one red one right alongside extreme left is furlong factor in the white jacket the blue colors behind this is miss jingles and now country carnival in beige and blue switches off the running rail to launch a challenge heading down towards the last furlong pelikai country carnival either side of sprite and also miss jingles in the blue with a chance as well country carnival and miss jingles will fight this out as they race up towards the line the blue of miss jingles just getting up late on to be country carnival Sprite is a few lengths behind him in third place and Pelikai in fourth. And they're off. They get away, fairly even break beyond equal and Asdar and Verboten towards the back. Muntada wants to be up there in purple and also from the outside Mountain Brave. Conjurative wave in green and yellow just about heads them though. Up there as well is Magical Wish and in behind those is Spirit Warning. Uh, they're followed through by Borben who's a bit keen in the blinkers the first time. Verboten is back marker by two or three lengths as they race now towards the final half mile and Conjurative wave leading to Muntada in second position. 
position. And then comes uh, Mountain Bray from a high draw around the outside of Spirit Warning. In behind those is Magical Wish and then Borman and Dirty Rascal of Motrib in company with on the extreme right beyond equal. Toro Strike is right in behind those and then comes Deep Intrigue. Further back to Buradan and Asdar towards a running rail. Then comes uh, Verboten is just in behind Battered at the rear of the field as from a very high draw Mountain Brave Joe Fanning has come through now to try and take it up. Also in yellow colours is Motrib coming to challenge and Graham Maroon is beyond equal. Running on well is Magical Wish in behind those. Conjurative Wave comes next and then Deep Intrigue towards the outside of the field. Furlong to go now. The light blue of Magical Wish. Here's Toro Strike now delivered by Ashim Mervin to take it up. Deep Intrigue is also coming very strongly from the back of the field but it's Toro Strike who has the lead and has won well. Second place Magical Wish. Deep Intrigue behind that. Good old Zhui Feng. Money for him. Got home in fourth place.